All right, let's tackle the third problem, program number three. We look at number program number three. We're printing a seven times table from zero times seven all the way through 12 times seven. And you can see as I wrote in this assignment, I can't do math. 12 times seven should actually be 84. But I could say I did that on purpose to see who had pointed out, but I didn't. Um, so let's jump into this. This is a bit different than the other one. There's gonna be no input here from the user, we're just gonna print the times table. So let's make a function called uh, seven times. It doesn't have any input because it's just gonna print the seven times table from zero to 12. Um, but let's think about that for a second. The low is gonna start at zero. The high end is gonna be 12. And the table uh, number is going to be seven. So I'm gonna parameterize all these. Um, and its job is to print the table. So what does it print at the beginning? It says something like um, times table four. So let's have it print at least just this. And uh, we're gonna parameterize this. So let's uh, comma table number. And I'm just gonna do that for now and not actually do the rest of it. So our main program is gonna go below here as a standard setup for our Python programs. And we're just gonna call seven times and let it do its job. Let's see if it works. Let's open up our shell. We're gonna go to Python 3 on the program 3.py. And we notice it prints times table or seven. Excellent, that's exactly what we want. Now let's actually make it do the work. So what it should be doing, it's gonna print 13 rows from zero through 12. And it's gonna print uh, the zero, so let's see. It's going to basically print. It's going to print. It's going to print the low, and then um, times, and then it's going to print. Um, see, it's going to go always seven, so it's always going to print table number, right? And then what it's going to print? It's going to print equals, and then it's going to print the multiplication of low times table number. We can just use the regular multiplication symbol here. We don't have to um, use what we used from the previous assignment because that's not what we're looking to measure here. So we're going to want to print this, and it's going to do this multiple times, right? It's going to do it. The only thing that's going to change is this table number is always going to be the same. This is going to be the same always, but this number needs to change. We're not going to always print the low value. We're going to go zero, then one, then three, all the way up to the high value. And then this is gonna change as well. So we're parameterizing across this low variable. So what we want is we're gonna do some x, which goes from the low to the high, and then we're gonna do the multiplication with that x. Let's get rid of all that. We're gonna indent. So we're gonna print x. Uh, let's call this number instead, because it's kind of confusing to have x and number there. So we're gonna put number here times table number, and then we're gonna print it. So let's see if that works. And look, it works again. We're only going all the way up to 11. We wanted to go to 12. And if you remember from the last assignment, we need to add one there because it's not inclusive on the end of the range. And that looks like it works. So I'll close that off for today.